Very low UFO movement. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it looks like, folks. Oh, wow. People, this UFO is right above me. This is so low. It's right here. Look at it. Look at this. This, this has got to be the lowest I've ever caught it on. I'm all the way back. This room is on 1x. I can zoom in on this and show you. Straight out. You see that? Straight UFO. Y cuando de pronto apareció de un momento a otro, eh, no se materializó, sino apareció en nuestro campo visual un objeto de unos 7 metros de diámetro, como por 3 de altura, totalmente metálico. Al parecer, y según la opinión del ufólogo William Chávez, se trata de un ovni sobrevolando la calle 127 a la altura del canal Córdoba, al norte de Bogotá. Ya fue analizado por la Bufón, inclusive se hizo un barrio electrónico por computador e inclusive los expertos de un canal de televisión internacional vinieron a Colombia. Daniel Prieto, el hombre que grabó el video, asegura que el sobrevuelo del OVNI fue programado. Ya no puede ser un objeto no identificado, ya los tenemos identificados, nosotros los ufólogos. La organización contactó y estudió el video una y otra vez y asegura que es una prueba real de la vida de seres de otro.
and it's obviously row and row and row on each level. Um, each what sort of size of container are we dealing with? Uh, the larger racks are about 40 foot long, 6 foot by 4 foot or thereabouts. Is this in some kind of a clinical ward or factory type environment? Or? Oh no, well, no, it's more like a warehouse. I mean, literally they are stores, they call them the racks, the sheds. Yeah. And that's, you know, row after row, these things are just stored there for use. These things are alive, obviously, yeah. but they're in a sleep state, or...? Um, I mean, you mentioned before that you could actually walk up to them and you'd see an expression on them. Was that the human ones? Um, because they're, they're programmed directly from the central computer systems, literally anything that goes through.